Do you want to have a cool background animation on your website like this? Or a beautiful sky like this one? Or something a bit more trippy like this? In this video, I'll show you how to create an interactive background just like that in Elementor. Or actually, this will work in any other page builder as well. We will be using a JavaScript library called vanta.js and you won't need any plugins for this tutorial. Wow, 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 it's very nice. Tip sweat punch. Hello internet people, my name is Robert and on this channel I help website owners to run and grow their online business with digital strategy tips, web tutorials and tool reviews. First, let's take a look at how you can generate and customize your animation. So let's say I want to spice up my website a little bit. So I would like to have something in the background because right now it's a bit static. I want to have something moving there. In that case, you can use Vanta.js and you can get here by Googling it or clicking on the link in the description or just typing in vanta.js.com. You land on this page and you can see already that you have some birds flying around here. And the cool thing is when you hover over the birds, they kind of run away. I think it's really cool how they made it. It's, it's really dynamic. Now you have other options. You have also a fog. So this can work really nicely. It also reacts slightly to your mouse, but very, very subtle. You have waves. You can see it moves with the mouse. You have also these flying clouds and the perspective changes a little bit. And just a few other ones here. If you really like this kind of stuff, you can try around. But the principle is everywhere the same. So let's say I would like to add the birds on my website. So something like this. But okay, this is way too many birds. I'm going to play around with this. So let's say I want to have a bit less uh, fly around like this. And I would change color. Maybe something like blue. Because that's what I have already anyway on the my side. And then one the thing you want to do is remove the background from here. So it's like this. So now the background is transparent and you can that way it just uses the background that is on the website already. Just play around with these settings because they're different for each of these effects. Just play around with them. But once you're done, then you need to grab this code. So let's copy this. I'm going to grab it, copy it. And now just go to notepad or some other way where you can copy paste this because we need to modify it a little bit. So now you can see the code is here. I'll go back to Vanta.js. And now what I need to do is click on this first link here. And then just grab this URL here at the top. Let's copy it. Then go back to your notepad and replace the first one. You can see it says three here. And when I replace it, it's now three with the URL here. And you can see that the it has to go between the quote marks here. Okay. And then the same thing we need to do with the birds one. So now we come here, click on the second link here. And in your case, it might not say birds. It might say clouds or whatever other effect you chose. Just click on the link and the process is exactly the same. And again, just copy this one and go to Elementor and place it in here. And now one more thing we need to do is actually give this a name. So in this case, it's an ID. I'm going to call it animation-pg. But this could be anything really. As long as it doesn't have spaces between the letters, it's fine. You need the hashtag here. But uh, let's say you just use this one. It's, it's an easy one. Then let's grab this whole code and copy it. Okay, so now we have all the code we need. Let's head to a page with Elementor. And this is basically my home page that you saw before. And now I want to add this bird somewhere here at top. So I want to have this the first section here. I want them fly around there. So what you need to do is find an HTML element. You just type in HTML in the search box and you can now see HTML. Same thing for other page builders. It works exactly the same. You just need an HTML, HTML element for this to work. So let's grab that element. And I'm going to drag it somewhere here. It really doesn't matter where it is. As long as it's inside the section you want the birds to appear. Okay, now we can paste the code here. So I'm going to paste it. You see nothing happens yet because we need to, we can grab this animation background like this. Let's copy it. And then head here. You just need to find the section of this whole thing. So I'm going to click here on the side, edit inner section and then in advanced tab, you have this CSS ID. So here I'm going to paste the animation dash BG. And notice how there's no hashtag in this case. And now if I update this page, 
and then come to my website and refresh it you'll notice that there are now these birds flying around now don't go too crazy with this because it does slow down slightly your website just because uh, obviously this is just another script that the uh, browser has to load but I find it so refreshing when you have a bit of moving elements on your website. Since you have a fancy animation on your website now, how about optimizing it for fast loading times? For that, check out the first video right here. And in the second video right here, I'll show you how to get royalty-free images and illustrations for your website. Whoosh!